Uh, it's important to know about the crimes before hearing his last words. First, he emptied two guns into a 24-year-old store clerk and lit the man's body on fire. Then he stormed into a woman's home uh, and shot her because, according to him, she wouldn't stop screaming. And police say he confessed to a roommate, he confessed to a friend, he confessed to a cop, basically a legal trifecta. Uh, but Smith's lawyers tried to spare his life by claiming he has an intellectual disability. The state, however, says his IQ scores are too high uh, for that. A parole board has also looked into all of this, and the execution will move forward. Uh, his family went to the governor's office just today in search of clemency. But as of this moment, again, the execution uh, is on track. I spoke to Michael Smith exclusively about where his mind is at that moment. I hear some of our conversation. I got a whole lot of different things going through my mind at the time, but my main um, focus is things on my mind right now is uh, with my family first and foremost, and um, and also the uh, the two of um, my uh, uh, deals that I still have in uh, the court of appeals at this time. Have you had a chance to talk to them at all? For my family? Yes, sir. Yeah, you should see we talk every day. It actually was um, Hank Stevie on, um, on Easter Sunday, so we are in um, communication. I know you've said in the past um, that you, you know, have been fighting. You say that you're innocent. I mean, does that fight continue? Do you feel at this point like, um, like it's over? Absolutely not. Absolutely, I think um, the fight, the fight continues even even after. You know, I mean, no matter if it's, if, it's, if, I, if I get executed or, or not, it, 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 the fight will continue with my family. My family will continue to fight. Uh, again, it's 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 hard for me to imagine what it's like to be in your situation right now with an execution so close. Um, I mean, is it sleepless nights? Is it, uh, I mean, are, are there racing thoughts to your mind? Like, what is, what is your mindset like right now? Oh, man, it's just kind of, it's kind of crazy, because um, um, as far as, um, it, it, if you want to keep, keep, your, keep your faith, you know, you always want to keep your head up and keep your faith in God. Do they give you any? Do they give you any kind of um, information about, like, how this will happen? Is there, you know, do they come in the day before or a couple of days before and um, sort of give you any kind of briefing or anything like that? I see. They um, start thirty-five days before, thirty-five days before the war, and then the second war, and the, um, um, pull you out and then explain, explain everything to you about the. Uh, and what what do they tell you? Uh, just basically, uh, it's basically about um, what what I can and can't have in the cell when I'll be moved to the to the um, death cell and um and um uh, the uh, the process the process actually I've been down here so long so I actually really already know the process so it's basically. They just, they have to tell us, but they, they know I know, but they already, they just have to tell me the actual process of how things, how, how things, um, um, don't me. Have you been praying much? Oh, yeah, I pray, I pray every day, man, I pray every day. Do they do they say anything? I mean, you, you always hear there's like a last meal, that kind of thing. Has, has that been brought up at all? Yeah, yeah, that's um, part of the 35 day, um, at 35 day, um, um, when I was talking about the 35 days, they asked you all that. It's a lot of paperwork you got to fill out as far as your, your last visit and your last meal and all that. And what did what did you put down for that? Actually, I, I, I actually, um, um, I'm not having a last meal, actually. What, what's the reason? I don't, I don't know. You know I, mean, I just, I just, um, I don't know. I never, never, I never had any plans to have a last meal. I never, 
it's some some guys that have already got their lids blown out. I've never, if I ever have been down there, I never even planned on eating the last meal. That was something I never even planned on doing. What do you say to people who will be listening to this who might think, um, you know, that you're just trying to save your reputation before the execution, protect your family, um, you know, that, 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 that just think you're still not coming clean even now? The evidence, I have the evidence to prove whatever, everything that I have said, everything that I have stated. Uh, you have I one minute left. The evidence in my case proves everything that I've said. The statement is in the lie, you know what I mean? The evidence proves that. Yeah, so we didn't have very much time to talk. You could hear there, there was a recording. They came on and said that there was only a minute left. Uh, but yeah, it's now one day um, to his execution. So it will be um, happening uh, tomorrow, it seems, Ashley. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.